Samuel has seen an opportunity to achieve more by getting closer to the road network in each of South Africa's nine provinces by establishing provincial head offices. With many provincial roads now being added to Sandwell's mandate to manage and maintain South Africa's national road network, Sandwell has acted to ensure the highest level of local consultation and smooth operation of its projects. The nine provincial officers will have their own provincial head and the newly appointed head of Sandwell's Mpumalanga office is Mabui Mshanga. We talked to Mabui about her new role and about her journey with Sanral. Now, let's start with your journey. You've been with Sanral for about four years now. How did you actually start your journey with Sanral and considering all the years of expertise you have with other organizations? Um, yes, you're correct. I've only been with Sanral for almost four years now. Um, but my journey in engineering started way back in 2004. So I graduated from UKZN in 2004 with my bachelor's degree and um, I then I started working as a trainee, civil engineer. Um, throughout that experience, obviously as you go, you gain experience. Um, I can say my career spans about 20 years up to now. So I've got 20 years experience in civil engineering and I've been lucky in that I been involved in very strategic uh, projects in South Africa, multi-billion red projects, starting in 2010 with the 2010 World Cup. I was involved there as a design engineer. Um, and then I moved on um, and worked for Etequini Municipality, uh, where I led um, a, a large team, multidisciplinary team, in the um, implementation of their BRT project. Um, so with my experience and obviously my qualifications as well, I've got a master's um, in civil engineering and I also um, in the middle of it also did a BCom um, just to upgrade my skills, um, you know, um, as a rounded engineer. So uh, when the opportunity came uh, to apply for a job uh, at Sunroll, again it was um, the upgrade of the N2 um, corridor in, in, in KZN. It's a multi-billion rand uh, project as well. Um, so yeah, I put my name in the hat and then I was appointed. That sounds like such an exciting journey and congratulations for all your accolades, I must say. What is it that inspired you to want to be such a well-rounded professional, as you say? Um, when I got involved in these multi-billion billion rand projects, I got to understand that um, it's not only about engineering, you know. Um, obviously, as citizens in South Africa, we need to make sure that we deliver our projects on time, we deliver our projects uh, within budget. Um, believe it or not, as engineers, we do a lot of financial management. So my qualification is in become uh, financial management. So we do a lot of estimating, we do a lot of cash flowing of, uh, of the project and also reporting on, finan on the financials in terms of the project. So it's not just delivering the project, but is it also uh, within the budgeted cost? Are you not expending too much money in, um, you know, in delivering the project as well? It is important for me that I, you know, I go in depth in terms of financial management and not know only the basics. If you call yourself a professional in, in, in something and you are leading a team, not only just uh, for, you know, you're leading a team for South Africa um, in delivering strategic projects, you need to know what you're doing uh, and you need to be prudent and, um, uh, and have all the, the necessary skills. Hmm. Now we're truly inspired by your skills and apart from you know being the head of Mpumalanga of course what are the other achievements that you are proud of during your time here at Sanro? Um, I think there are a couple of them. I've only been with Sanro for four years but I would like to think that I've contributed already. Um, look at me now I've been appointed as the head of, of, uh, of, of a province. Um, in 2021, April, remember there were KZ10 uh, floods, so I was then given the task to actually lead a team that was going to be responding to the KZ10, uh, to the KZ10 floods. 
Uh, we didn't have a lot of time then. Um, it was an emergency. So um, I, we had to gather the resources. We actually expand, uh, extended um, to, to the other to, to the other regions uh, to get resources to go and inspect the infrastructure in KZN to actually estimate what the damage is, um, how much budget is required to do um, to, to do the repairs, uh, where are the critical places that need attention immediately. So I was able to then uh, within the Eastern region work with their team, do the planning and also reports to National Treasury and also even internally uh, within Sunral. Then my colleague uh, took over with the implementation. I think um, we are about to, to be completed because some of the, gem of, some of the damage was, um, was actually very big. Some of the, even the bridges actually shifted from their position. So some of it took longer to, to, to get to the end than expected. Now, Mabu, you one person who has been very passionate uh, in their career when it comes to road safety. Would you say that Sandrill now deciding to move some of their regional roads into provincial and you now being the head of Mpumalanga, do you foresee that it can assist in terms of the road safety for the province? Um, yes, you're correct. Um, road safety is something that is close to my heart because it affected me personally. I do think it's going to contribute into improving road safety, um, especially in particular we've taken um, sections that actually go through the CBD. If you know our Sunral network, uh, usually we don't traverse through a, you know, a CBD. So we're going to face a challenge there where we have a lot of pedestrians. So we need to very quickly, uh, as part of our Sandra strategy, identify um, the hazardous locations um, in, in all of those areas and then give them uh, the correct treatment. But as you know, road safety, there are a number of factors that contribute to road safety. It is not only just the infrastructure itself, which we can um, and are able to do as Sunral and make sure that uh, we've put all the measures in place to prevent um, excessive incidents. Um, but in my research on, uh, for my master's, I also um, got to understand that the human factor is actually one of the highest factors. So what I'm planning to do in, um, in Pumalanga is to intensify uh, road safety campaigns. Like I said, especially um, within the CBDs, I'm, I'm, I'm planning to actually partner with the local government. In the past, I've actually even partnered with um, institutions like the South African Road Fe Federation. I've also partnered with uh, RAF, uh, Road Accident Fund. So we go together and um, actually communicate and teach um, the community in communities, especially in the vicinity of high order roads. So the infrastructure plays a part, but also road safety campaigns and educating the people um, about road safety is, is also very important. Mabui, now that you've been appointed as the provincial head for Mpumalanga, what do you foresee might be some of your challenges as provincial head? Almost 900 kilometers of uh, provincial roads have now been gazetted in November as uh, national roads. Um, so it means that for me, the main challenge is to get that net network up to the standard or um, the specification of Sandro. And um, I'm not sure if you are aware, but as soon as people get to understand that this road now belongs to San Ro, um, there are expectations to say that it needs to be at a certain standard. So we are I'm having to then work with speed uh, to send our routine road maintenance teams to do emergency repairs and also then continuously uh, do periodic um, maintenance on, on, those, on, on those roads to, to get them to, to, to the specification um, that you know, San Ro is known for. Not only that, um, Mpumalanga has a very thriving uh, mining industry. So you do see a lot of trucks on the road. Um, with a lot of trucks, with high load and the frequency as well, um, that contributes to the deterioration of the, the road surface. So I need to then be able to, to be ahead with my periodic maintenance and also inspecting the road to ensure that it is always kept um, at, the, at, the, at the right standard, yeah. So um, as you know, if you're working for government, 
government, we, we work towards a specific role. There are a number of challenges that the South African uh, government is actually facing. There is, you know, um, low em em employment rate. So in my implementation of the project, I need to make sure that I contribute to employment, to the upliftment of women, to uh, getting jobs for the youth as well, and pre um, people living with disability, um, and, and so on. I think for me, um, it's, it's to make sure that we grow our civil engineering industry, we ensure maximum participation of the SMMEs and the locals, uh, because they can't be right in the vicinity of the work and they're hungry, they don't have jobs, um, and there's this mega project um, right there and they cannot participate. Um, but like I said, there are a, a, a number of interventions uh, that we've put in place, uh, put in our contracts uh, um, as well to ensure that um, there's this, that participation um, in our projects. Well, Mabu, it sounds like you do have a task on your hands, but a professional of your caliber, we certainly do trust that this will be part of your achievements going forward as well. What would you say that the road looks like uh, for Mabui and Sanra? I think for me, it is to continue delivering in, uh, you know, the Sandra mandate. Um, there is now a focus, a, pre a provincial presence uh, in Pumalanga. I am expecting to collaborate with local government. So what that does then, it means that Sunrail has a more reach. You know, uh, we are closer to our stakeholders. We are uh, closer to the people that we service. So um, my outlook is that um, I need to then deliver, you know, for, for the people. But um, for Sanro, um, as you know, we, we pride ourselves for maintaining, for planning, maintaining and keeping our main arteries of the economy, which is um, our Sanro uh, network up and running. And uh, we are there when we are needed. Uh, should it be an emergency in terms of floods or be it an incident, um, a road uh, incident. So I'll have a team then that is um, able to respond, to respond quicker. Um, and yeah, I think, I think that's what's ahead for me. Thank you so much for joining us today and congratulations again on all your accolades and your achievements in such a short space of time. We wish you all the best for your journey ahead as the head of Mpumalanga. <laughs>